Okay, I will be very honest with you. This is the first episode in uh, English. And uh, I've decided to make the first episode in English about bananas. But I, because I don't think that everybody knows everything about bananas and how to make an amazing dessert. And Swedes uh, use bananas for everything. We have bananas on pizza and we eat a lot of bananas in general. And uh, when it comes to Polish people, they also like bananas. Bananas and the Italians, they, they sometimes put bananas in their uh, asshole. Uh, but that is, uh, that is another uh, question. Uh, in Swedish, uh, this uh, dessert is called uh, tunnelbanan, uh, which means uh, tunnel banana, basically. Uh, which is not to be confused with uh, tunnelbanan, which means uh, the subway. But that is advanced Swedish, so you don't really uh, need to care about that. It's, uh, it's called a particle verb. Uh, particle verbs, so to say. In order to make this amazing, amazing dessert, which I call the banana dessert, we need to make dulce de leche. And that is basically uh, reduced uh, milk uh, with sugar in it. Uh, that has been uh, caramelized, basically. Uh, you have to boil the milk and the sugar for a very, very long time. And we don't have time with that. So an easier way of doing it is by uh, buying uh, a can of uh, condensated sweetened milk. Now, if you buy one that is not sweetened, you will get this coagulated uh, nasty uh, thing here. And you don't want that. Uh, what you want is the sweetened one. Because when you boil that in opposed to the nasty one, you get this nice and creamy paste that tastes absolutely amazing. Now, there are different grades of dulce de leche, and it all depends on how long you, you boil this can of uh, condensated sweetened milk. Now, if you don't boil it at all, the Spaniards would just call it dulce de leche uh, crudo. And if you boil it for half an hour, you have semi-crudo, then you have blanco, and then you have rubio, and then you have paizo, and after two and a half hours of boiling this can, uh, you have dulce de leche marron, and that is the one we're gonna be uh, making. After three hours, you have marron oscuro, which is uh, dark brown, and after three and a half hours, you have uh, negro, uh, which means black, and that is uh, like very solid and, and has a really strong caramel flavor. But uh, it's a little bitter. We're not gonna make that. We're gonna make the marron, the two and a half hour one. However, if you have a pressure cooker, you can uh, do it in about 45 minutes. And I have one, of course, so I'll just do it in 45 minutes and I will have this amazing, uh, good uh, caramel. And you uh, won't. Well, you will in, in, in two hours after mine is done. Now I have to teach you how to open a banana because it seems like not everyone knows how to open a banana. Most people would open it from this side and that is because because you are a human being and someone uh, has uh, taught you uh, how to do it and they are idiots and uh, so are you for doing it this way. The monkeys in the jungle, they open the bananas from this side here and that is a much better way of doing it and you should too. You just take the banana and you just pinch it here and you'll easily uh, take off the peel and that is how you are supposed to do it. Well, not right this time because this time you're gonna use a knife because uh, you are not the monkey and you're not uh, gonna eat the whole banana. Uh, you're gonna cut it into uh, three pieces. As you can see here, I've chosen a uh, straight banana. Uh, if you choose a crooked banana, you won't really be able to do the next step. It will be very difficult. So a straight banana cut like this and peeled. And you will use this banana, these pieces of banana, uh, and you will try to cut out the, the seed part. I mean, this the seed part here in the middle. I am using a banana peeler for that. You can use a knife or whatever the fuck you want. You can use your dick if you prefer that, depending on how small and pointy it is. Now, you, it's important that you hold the banana really firmly in your hand, because if you don't, then it will just crack up when you uh, put the knife inside, and you will 
fuck up uh, and that sucks you don't want to fuck up so you hold it firmly and then you cut it like this and once you've cut it like this you just use a chopstick or something or your tiny dick and you push it out just like this and you just do that with all the pieces of banana it will it will turn out just fine don't worry and i really hope that you've left this dulce de leche to rest and to cool because if you open it up immediately after boiling it it will just explode into uh, your skin and it will burn you and that is very sad and you will be very uh, sad and so will i so do not uh, do that please so you wait until it's uh, it has cooled completely and then you open it and look at this this wonderfully uh, creamy caramel it's absolutely amazing take a little baggie put it into the little baggie like this and then cut the corner of the little baggie and you just fill these bananas up all the way like a vagina being filled up with uh, sperm uh, well that was a little nasty to say that but I just wanted to give you some kind of reference in case you you didn't understand it. now put the bananas in the freezer and let them be there for about one or two hours you can put them there overnight if you want to the important part here is that they really freeze you want them to be rock uh, solid like uh, my cock that was also quite nastily said so but i again i just wanted to give you some kind of reference so you you understand uh, what you're doing here and now it's time to make the ice cream and we're gonna make an ice cream from uh, a lemon balm because lemon balm is an amazing amazing uh, flavor it has a really really nice uh, flavor for desserts especially for ice cream. I, I love that and so will you so you mix up the lemon balm you can add some sugar uh, it helps mixing it up and then into a big bowl you add cream milk uh, the rest of the sugar if you didn't add all of it I don't know you Maybe you're a fat fuck that just adds sugar without listening or reading on, on how much. But as you know, the recipe is on, on foodampro.com, so you don't have to ask yourself how much sugar to add. Salt, always add salt when you make desserts. Every sweet dessert always is, is better with a little uh, salt. It, it raises the, the flavor, especially for chocolate things. Uh, chocolate and salt is an amazing combination. Anyway, uh, so, with the, so is this. So you add the salt, you mix it around, a little lemon, like this. Okay. Okay, so you mix it and you put it in the fridge to refrigerate for for a while about an hour or so now i don't know if you have an ice cream maker a machine but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna make the ice cream in a bag uh, ice cream so you take a big bag you add a lot of ice and a lot of salt and the salt will uh, start melting the ice and the temperature will, will lower and uh, you might even get below uh, freezing uh, when it comes to degrees and quickly take a small bag a little baggy here make sure it doesn't have any holes make sure your condom doesn't have any holes when you if you don't if you're not trying to impregnate the woman and if you are a woman who want to be impregnated but do not want to tell the man make some holes into the condom anyway you put this uh, ice cream base in here make sure there's no air or yeah well not so much air and uh, tie it up now put the small tied up uh, baggie into the big bag and uh, tie that up and then just start shaking it like you're masturbating uh, like a crazy person you just you just rub it off just shake it and beat it like a nasty nasty person that beats people and your penis like this perfect you just keep on shaking it and you have this really really soft ice cream you could eat it like this it would have a consistency almost like a sundae but you don't uh, want that right now so uh, let's put it into the freezer and let it sit there for about an hour and you will have this firm and uh, wonderful uh, ice cream it is now time to make the final product and i cannot tell you how horny i am from just thinking about this amazing amazing dessert that is about to fucking come 
In my face, in my mouth, sorry. Heat up the oil to 170 degrees, between 170 and 180 degrees. Make sure it's an oil that you can use for deep frying. Don't use a fucking uh, olive oil because that doesn't really do well in high temperatures. Heat it up, use a thermometer unless you want to use uh, your finger or something and then you will burn it off and then you will be sad. So use a thermometer. And here I have some uh, starch. This is potato starch because I'm in Sweden and we mostly have potatoes as starch. I guess you have corn starch wherever you are if you're in an English speaking country because you have a lot of corn, especially if you're in the United States. Eggs, beaten eggs and breading. And I'm sure you have breading. If you don't have breading, you can just take some uh, dry stale bread and you can mix it up in a mixer and you will have your own homemade uh, breading. Now take out the hard bananas, the frozen bananas, and they're really easy to handle now because they're frozen. That's just the bonus. The actual, the reason uh, we froze them is because uh, they won't get too mushy in the uh, hot oil. They will be just perfect and you will have this nice crust around them. So into the uh, starch here, into the mixed eggs and the breading. And we will do this twice. So back into the starch, eggs and breading all around the top and the and the sides just all around and you put them into the oil and unless you have a deep fryer i don't know uh, if you have that normally in your parts of of the world but i'm using a, a cast iron pan so i have to turn them because it's not that deep and i do that after about 45 seconds or one minute and uh, it will be just perfect so after about one and a half for two minutes you have these perfect bananas absolutely amazing make sure to let them cool a little before you put them into the sugar or else the sugar will just like crumble up and you put the fucking bananas on a plate and then you take your ice cream and you scoop the goddamn ice cream into a nice scoop and you put it here and you decorate it with whatever the fuck you want to decorate it and I would fucking rip my scrotum open to be able to store this dessert inside it so I could take it out anytime I want to eat it that that's how goddamn good this fucking banana dessert is! 